Hello, everybody. I hope this finds you well. I've always been interested in origins, the beginnings of things, where we came from, how we got here, and how things put together, how they work. Uh, that's been something that's always been an interest of mine. Uh, I made this little video kind of showing some of my exploration. Now, um, this is just a cartoon, uh, cheesy 2D animation. It's nothing special. I just threw this together to try to uh, bring in thought. Now, let's get on with the video, the cartoon. I'm sure you're aching to see it. Enjoy it, everybody. Peace be with you. Okay now, introduce you to Herman Snaggletooth, the caveman. There we go. Here you are, Herman, my stereotypical 3D cheesy animated character, representing uh, the caveman. Uh, Herman here. It existed before we had civilization and buildings. So, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, 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 what was that? Herman, what are you hiding on me? What is this, a city behind you? Hmm. How did these study structures come to be so sudden? There's a puzzle, it's puzzled anthropologists and geologists and archaeologists for a long time. And there's several theories about this, and Herman has come out of the countryside and suddenly learned how to do agriculture, build cities on his own, just a couple of generations. Oh, did this old primitive man come up with this in his own head, suddenly one night, was he influenced by external forces, or unknown external forces that we don't speculate about? Which was it? New discoveries of ancient civilizations going even further back now than what our history books tell. Tells us a different story altogether. Think about it. Who taught the beaver? humble beaver. Who taught the beaver how to make the beaver dam? And who taught the noble bee, the honey bee, to make the honeycomb? And do its little dance to communicate the directions to the nice tasty flowers. And who taught the sparrow how to make its nest? and sing. Uh, let's think about it. Who taught Herman how to build cities? What if Herman always knew how to build things, how to construct things, work in groups, make tools, and use the resources around them efficiently, and how to raise animals and plant food. What if men knew this? The only difference was the amount of men as the population grew. So specialization came. Now I'm not ruling out the possibility of outside influences. There's an abundance of evidence that this may be happening, or may have happened, and may still be happening. The question is, is it good or bad? Not were we influenced by something? Okay, now, how come I can get him to walk right here? What's the deal? Hmm. Hello, beaver.